Entrepreneurship and sport. How, can, how sport can help in the mission and how the mission can be also a vehicle to serve the sport. It's the same uh, with uh, entrepreneurship, how the mission can sustain itself by doing, by, by finding the way uh, he can last in the time. Uh, I just want to share two, four points. First, the contest where we can use sports or entrepreneurship to, to reach out kids, communities, families. And the second point, what is the target? What do you want to reach? Uh, why, what is the purpose by using uh, entrepreneurship in the, in the mission? And then what can be some obstacle and uh, the way we can uh, find some tactics to do it. Yes, uh, the beginning is uh, we see in contests like in Africa or uh, in some areas in the, in the world that machines really need support and different way to support ministry can be human resource, can be also equipment, tools, and most of the times is a finance resource. How can we support and finance our missions? Uh, this was the, some of the research that we have done, and we see that we can do something very different. Sport, uh, entrepreneurship can be mission field and they can be also the vehicle to serve the mission. What is the contest that we, uh, we have in our, in our contest in uh, Africa, for example, if I want to talk most the missions in Africa? We see that uh, if I take the contest of my country where I come from, is Togo, 60% uh, of the whole population are under 20. And that means it's a big challenge for government, even for the educational system, to give chance for each of these people to go to school, to have good education. Even in the church, the church don't have enough material uh, equipment and people to serve this big uh, population who are under 20. Then when we talk about 20, we are talking about kids, children, we are talking about uh, teenagers, and we are talking about uh, young people. And uh, this is, uh, can we see this as an opportunity or can we see this as trade? And uh, using sport, can be one way that we can connect to these people because sport is a, a very beautiful language, universal language that can break this, can make this bridge between the mission and between this uh, uh, population who are children, teenagers, and young people. And then we, in this way, there were two or three ways that we can reach them. We, for the children under 12, these, these uh, uh, children also have their own needs. And we see that games, sports, but not uh, competitive sports, more fun games, fun sports can help us to reach them. And in this, in this case, we also use more, uh, a lot of uh, creativity, uh, creative activity that can help them. Uh, but those who have 12 to 17, that's we call in our contest, the teenagers, the adolescent, these also have their own uh, needs. What is first, they are looking, they have a, a hard desire to find their own personality, to find their own yeah, identity. In this case also, we can use sport to connect to them but what we do most of the time is to help them to 
to, to go through some leadership uh, experience. For example, uh, they have a good, they have a lot of talent. They are gifted, but sometimes they, they, all these things are ignored. The church ignored, the parent ignored, also the society or the community where they are living ignored it. And having, uh, getting in contact with teenagers give us the opportunity that we can help them to find their identity. Helping them to find their identity is giving them a room or space that they can express themselves. And in this way, for example, we, 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 we do a lot of trainings, like uh, leadership trainings, and we can also have given them a lot of chance to, to serve together as uh, uh, co-workers, not just they are not object that we are serving, but they are also part of the mission. And by doing this, for, for example, uh, uh, using sport, it's not just that we go and let them play, but we can teach them how they can help order to play. But in the same time, we can help them how they can make disciples among themselves, also helping to make disciples with children. And this we use uh, a strategy that we call KISAPS program, KISAPS strategy, and it can be with media, it can be computer, it can be anything that can connect uh, a team to, 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 to come together. For example, uh, anything that we have passion with, we would like to do it every time. And this can help also to, to follow up the, the, the teenagers and uh, in a, a long-term process. And in this case also, when we are talking about uh, identity, we are talking about uh, uh, gifts, we are talking about talent, we are talking also about passion, we are talking about the sense that they are living. And for this, we, te we, say, we teach them where they are, who they are, and how, th how they can serve their community. Then in this way, we talk about their role, the role that they can play in their community. And we see that they can also be one of the uh, community agents tra uh, uh, tra uh, transforming, uh, community transformation agents. And we equip them, we empower them, and we help them to experience the leadership and also to, to be part of the, the, the story, this story to see our, our community transformed. And when we are coming back, like uh, these uh, uh, teenagers that we are, uh, we are discipling in a long-term process, uh, after 18 years, 20 years, they are facing another challenges. Which kind of challenge they are facing? They are coming now in the adults. Uh, they, they, need, uh, they need to be independent. They need to have houses. They need to, to have car. They need to, then they, they have a lot of need. And if a lot, uh, you know, more, most of the time, churches and our agencies, we forgot also to help them to, to address this need. And the most of the time, we see that when we are doing a children ministry, What's happened? We focus on children. Sometimes we focus on teenagers, but after we leave them, and then in this case, we don't find them in the churches because they need to find their way to live. And that is the, the, the reason why, that is the obstacle, and uh, that is the reason why we, we have planned also how can we uh, add to creativity, leadership, the third uh, uh, strategy that will be entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is how can we help them, equip them, train them, and empower them that they can be also those who can create a job, those who can be, they can give opportunity, then uh, or they can, they can, their gift, their uh, skills that they have can help them to work. If they can find job, we can train them how to look for the job, or you can train, we can train them how they can create their own business. And that is what we call entrepreneurship. Create own business according to the needs of their, uh, their, their contest, 
according to how the uh, uh, the the in, uh, their, their gift uh, their, their gift and according also to how they want to see uh, uh, their world be transforming their world this is very important in the you know when we are we come back to the church we see that that is the the church didn't think about such pro project but it's very important because if we don't do this then the secular uh, organization will keep up keep out of the church our 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 young people which were who were before well trained given a good talent they get there from the, from the church you can see that at the end we have very good music uh, music players we have very good actors they they, they learn all these things in the church but they cannot come back to serve the church because where they were looking for uh, the way to, to live, the church were not there. Uh, we, our, in our program, there we think entrepreneurship can be one of the very important uh, topic that we can teach uh, the new generation or we can teach uh, churches how this happened. It's the same thing. We have a need who oh, we have people, they are gifted, but uh, they don't know how to do it. Then we use two models of uh, strategy. One is uh, coaching. If you have business people in the church, they can create a program that we can identify those who are pos uh, enable, who have this possibility or skill to lead. But through the leadership training, we can help them to find the way that we can find together solution. And this is uh, by coaching. And at the same time, we're monitoring them. And how can we do this? Uh, we work on uh, three, uh, three uh, strategies or three very practical points. First, we work on their faith. And we see that the, the church have enough material to help them to have faith. They can go to church. They have youth uh, club, kids ups club. And in the same time, by mentoring and coaching them, we work also on their character. How are they respond? What they have learned? How can they, can, uh, uh, how can they use what they have learned in their life, life uh, the, the daily life. And this is the character. How did Adi respond? And the third um, vessel on which we work also very uh, intentional is the skills. And these skills are very important to help them to create a job because the competency that they have, the gift that they have, the talent that they have, God has given them to make the difference. And uh, all, all these things, when we combine, we mantle them to be one of the uh, mission agents, uh, mission uh, community transformation agents. That means they can use their faith, share their faith, they can use their character, and also they can use their uh, skills to impact their generation or to impact their community. And that is uh, the way that we do. And uh, for, for a very small example, we, we do the same thing by processing uh, cocoa to make chocolate. And uh, this come also for one of the situation that we have is uh, in the, in the uh, there, there was a time well, really, we could not go forward because we need money to, 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 to run our kids' ups clubs, uh, also to pay for the equipment or to get all that we need to share the gospel. And uh, we, we have started as a team to think about what is the way that we can support ourselves. We can, uh, we can, make our mission system sustainable 
And then we, when we were working and doing the brainstorming, that we, we found out that there is a gap in our country. What is the gap? Uh, for centuries, uh, our pa parents grow cocoa, and they have only sent them to Europa, America, everywhere. But themselves, they cannot process. And in Togo, we don't have chocolate. But we, 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 we grow cocoa. Then we say that can be a business opportunity for us if we, we process this one, and then we can, we can sell our chocolate we can gain money, and this money will be reversed totally in the mission. And then in this way, we are doing it. It's worked very well. And now we can find out that we can use the, the business, uh, we, say, we say business in mission, a mission in business. Like uh, all the, those who are working in uh, our, our chocolate uh, company, they are my disciples. We work on the faith, we work on the, the, the character, and we also work on the skills. And the, after we have Monday to Friday, we, we work hard in the, our, our, our factory. But some, Saturday to Sunday, each of us, we have our own ministry that we go to support. What is very important, these guy, these people, these young people, at the beginning, it was difficult for them to, to finance their transport, to go to other places. But today, all of them can put aside uh, uh, some economy to support their own ministry. And that is the reason why you can, in Togo, we can see also that the KISAPS program is working very well because, because of the, uh, the safe sustainability strategy with entrepreneurship.